In this video, I will show you how to make your Roblox game cost Robux. So let's jump straight into it. So as you can see, I'm here on roblox.com. I'm logged into my account. So once you've done that, what you're going to want to do first is come up to the top left hand corner to these different options and click on to create. So this is going to take you across to all your created games. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and select the game that you want to make people pay Robux for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select this one. And then what you want to do is click the blue edit in studio button and then click the open Roblox, box, which comes up on the pop up. So what it's going to do is go ahead and load your game up in the Roblox studio. So this is where you're going to come to actually set a price for your game. So as you can see, we're now here on the studio and back on my desktop and my game is just finishing loading through. Now from here to go ahead and set a price for your game, what you're going to want to do is come up to the top and you want to click onto game settings. Next from here, come up across to the left hand side and you want to click onto monetization. So from here, you can actually add a price. So to do this, what you're going to want to do is scroll down and where it says paid access down here, you want to click onto the switch to turn this on. And then what you want to do is go ahead and set your price. So for example, I can set this to 50 Robux and just to explain that there is a slight marketplace fee, which means that basically Roblox is going to take 30% off your price. So if I was to set this at 50, the marketplace fee is going to be 15 Robux and in turn, I'm going to earn 35 Robux. So once you've gone ahead and set your price, just simply go ahead and click save. And that is how you go ahead and set a price for your games on Roblox. So I hope this quick tutorial helped you out today. And if it did, I would really appreciate it. If you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick video and I will see you in the next tutorial.